Ryan, you've made the tough decision to take a break from football. Uh, if you could kind of explain the, the reasons behind that. You know, training on 3G pitches at my age is not, is not the best, to be honest, at uh, 38, uh, twice a week. On Thursday we train, some days the next day I'm, you know, I'm struggling to walk from training on that 3G, so that, that's not ideal. And then that you know, takes on to a Saturday. But, you know, the travelling as well. It's a conference north from travelling from Cardiff to get to most of the grounds is, uh, you know, over five hours with uh, all the stoppages. So, uh, and then an hour and a half later, you're on the pitch trying to play. So, uh, yeah, it's been a long decision and uh, it's been a tough one, but uh, I think it's time to, to call a day for now. You never know what going to call. You know, Paul Scholes for Man United, he made a comeback, so you, you never know. It's a, it's a tough one. It's, uh, you know, it's a sad day for myself, but, um, you know, Hopefully it's the right decision. You've, um, you've had a fantastic career at Edgar Street, obviously with Hereford United and also with Hereford FC. Yeah. Um, but it's not the end, is it? You're going to stick around, you're going to stay and, and join kind of the scouting network that is yeah. kind of being developed as we speak. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, Tim and, and the board have, have helped me a lot, to be honest. So uh, they spoke to me about things I could do, possibly, and uh, scouting's one of them, something I'm interested in. I want to stay involved in football. Uh, management's not for me, like I told you before. And uh, yeah, scouting to be involved in football, try and get some good players for the future of the club. And that's going to start pretty much immediately. Yeah, definitely. I'm off somewhere tonight. I'm not going to tell you who, but uh, I'll be off watching somebody. Uh, the club looking to possibly go full time in the next few years. Um, you got to get there. You know, teams like Cardiff City, Swansea, when they're releasing players, you got to get there first before someone else nabs them. So uh, I think it's important to get the scouting uh, network going. This is going to be a tough question. If you could pick out one kind of favourite overriding memory it might be easy it might yeah. be the obvious walker stadium i guess yeah. are there any others up there well obviously the walker stadiums you know that's the matthew moment for myself but like i said earlier the, the midlands prem is up there you know i've had many years in football but that that stands up with, with wembley winning the league and uh, you know we have a few points behind at one point and coming back to win the league and and it's just out of the club as well it's out of the uh, amazing journey that the club's been on and uh, hopefully it can continue you know, the fans have been absolutely unbelievable to, to raise money for, uh, for my injury last year. It just sums them up, to be honest. Um, home, away, you know, for instance, in the Midlands Premier League, it's, uh, you know, people say the Midlands Prem, but it's one of the best uh, years of my life, to be honest. Uh, that, that season is brilliant. Um, going to Baden Hill, seeing all them Hereford fans, uh, it was un unbelievable. Alba Church as well, obviously Wembley, so uh, that was a big, big season for me. Is there a last message for the fans? Um, well, it's a big thank you really. You've been uh, tremendous throughout the nine and a half, ten years I've been here. Uh, I'll never forget the fans. Um, like I said earlier, home and away, they've been absolutely tremendous and uh, I'm sure I'll be uh, welcome for the game's head and you never know, I might get a testimonial. Yes, well, yeah. you definitely have got a testimonial yeah. coming up, so yeah, obviously the, you, right? <laughs> the, the date and everything will be sorted, but yeah. um, that's that's obviously not, not every player gets a testimonial. Yeah, brilliant. It'll be uh, a, a good time for me to say goodbye to the fans and, and vice versa, so uh, it'll be unbelievable. There's uh, three or four teams I'd like to play, I'm not going to say yet, but um, yeah, it should be exciting times.